Hey guys, today I'm gonna review my Potter SH120. My alert one. Yeah, so I basically replaced it and I replaced it with my Faraday horn strobe. I got the little cover on. I got it from, from Amazon, this little cover, only $1.95. So this Faraday horn, that's yeah, Yeah. So, so why this had to be replaced is because it went off unexpectedly. And it has a shield that says reactor overheat alarm. Yeah, which I'm going to put on here soon. So, let's take off this, the SH120, and there's the the thing to it yeah you can see a red strobe it says alert right here yeah so i'm gonna place on the overheat reactor thingy to the faraday let's go okay here's my Faraday horn on the reactor overheat alarm sign thing. Yeah. So basically, this reactor overheat alarm shield came with my SH120. So I'm going to take that off. Yeah. Also, you could place on other alarms so i'm gonna place on one of my p20rs okay there's my p20r on nice so now what i'm gonna do is put this my potter where the p20r was but this is new i'm just gonna do you guys so let's go okay so now i'm gonna go show you guys there it is. Right there. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to give it a test. Okay, it's testing right now. Yep, it's testing. Yeah. So, my grandma turned off the, the thing, the panel whatever yeah so yeah so that was my s1 i mean my sh120 i hope you enjoyed this video um like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bob oh and and make sure so pretty soon here if i get if I run up to 40 subscribers, I'll do a fire alarm testing video. So make sure to like and subscribe to to Potter SH120. That's my new channel name. Bye guys, like and subscribe.